Hello everyone, Vicki Ashard here with Nature's Best Art. Thank you for joining me today. Today it's Watercolor Wednesday and we're going to continue on with our Roses and Mums picture. I finished all the mums and I just really, really love them. I think they turned out really, really pretty. And the reason I used two colors is the undertone wasn't more orangish. It was Pyro Red and Hansa Yellow Deep which made it lighter than the Kodakadam Rose and Permanent Lizard and Crimson on top. So what I do is what I do is when I pick up that color, lift up the color with my water and the brush, it shows that really pretty orange there. So I was really happy with the way they turned out. Now it's time to do the roses. I'm going to talk a little bit about my background of which I worked on too last week, but that's that's in a little bit. But let's get right into the rose today. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to be using my number six, four, and two brush. So I'm going to pick up my six, number six brush, and I just love these brushes. I'm going to squirt these a little bit. I'm not going to put too much water. Okay, and um, they're the Mimic Creative Mark. I, I really love them. So this is my first color I'm going to use. This is my lightest color. I'm going to put pretty much color on that. Well, let's, what I do is when I start my paintings, you know, in the, in the composition, I like to work from left to right and down. So this is our rose right here, right here. And I'm going to determine right now, actually, if I'm going to go a little beyond or come up with the blue. And I think what I'm going to do is get that right here so that it looks like part of another petal. So I went a little away when I put that background, but that's okay. See, I can go right up to that color. Look at how pretty, pretty, pretty that orange is. I just love this. Oh my. Yep, it's doing everything that I hoped it to do as far as the color. We're going to come right up here. I have to be a little careful around the edge there. I want to determine how far I want to go to make it look like the petals. Okay, I'm going to pick up some more color. I tell you, it is full blown fall here in Michigan. I uh, took a drive out to, uh, oh, I guess I was going to the store, the, you know, my grocery store in another city, actually. I went to a different one this past week and I, um, uh, I'm concentrating as I'm doing this, <laughs> as I'm talking. And there was a street that had the most beautiful maple trees. And they were all different colors. They were uh, reds and oranges and yellows. And it was just really so beautiful. I was just really taken aback. And I'm so glad I went down that street. So this is right up to the leaf there. So I want to be a little careful when I do this. Okay, right at the edges. Got a little water on my ferro. I want to take that away. Still using the lighter color. Okay, look how pretty that is. All right, I'm going to use the same method. I'm going to be lifting some color out of this rose and underneath we'll see this color as I lift this. All right. Okay, now we're going to dry it a little bit. I'm so glad I discovered that my dryer isn't as loud as I thought it would be, so I'm really glad about that. 
Now, I didn't talk last week when I put my dryer on, so I'm going to see how that works. All right. So I'm going to, uh, let's say I dried it. Now I'm going to use my number four brush. change my mind. I'm going to use that number six and put that next color because I do see medium colors in there. Instead, instead, of the, instead of just the light and the dark, I'm going to put a medium color in there. All right. So let's do this again all over. Get it really that deep orange. So the reason I chose the blue background is because orange and blue are complementary colors on the color wheel. So, you know, like yellow and purple is, this is blue and orange. So I thought that would be really pretty. And I didn't want to make them red because they aren't red they're orange roses and i'm just like loving this because it's fall colors now you got your mums the red mums and the orange roses and that's why i chose it these roses actually uh this whole arrangement uh i took some flowers out of a really big arrangement that my cousins they came to visit me and um and these are their flowers that I just absolutely loved. And I love my cousins. I'm so glad they came to visit me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to dry it again. So that was enough, putting another glaze on your painting there. So it's really important to dry between glazes. Now there are times, like our explain to you how I did the, the background, the wash in the background, where I didn't do that. In fact, I added water. Right, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So make sure it's completely dry, because I'm going to be lifting color right now. Okay, now I'm going to be, excuse my arm, I'm going to be looking at my reference carefully and seeing just where those highlights are in the rows. Okay, so they're mostly over here. I'm going to get my Kleenex, excuse me again. And I'm going to be lifting color with my Kleenex. And they're right here also. And some of the light is down here. And when you use your Kleenex, it just lifts it out a little bit more than if you don't put your Kleenex there. See, it's lifting the color with just my water, but if you put your Kleenex down, it lifts it up a little bright, gives it a little brighter. So that's what you want sometimes. And these are the tops of the petals that I see that I have some light. Let's see where else. Maybe a little bit down here. And a little bit in here. Okay, I think that's good. I think I'm going to do a little bit right here. Okay, that'll be good. All right. So let's try that again. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm going to be using my number two brush, which is my smallest brush that I have. And I'm going to be using my dark color now. I want to get as much color on my brush as I can, and I don't want to put too much water on here, but I may have to spritz it a little bit. I don't want it real watery. Alright, and this is my color where I have mostly uh, red. So, and this is so this is my darker color. So let's do this now. I think I'm gonna start right here. This is where it gets a little tedious, but it's important to have these little little outlines. I'm not going to outline the whole rose, but I want this to stand out, especially make it a nice crisp, crisp line there. Okay, I'm going to pick up some more paint here. Now this I want right at the tip here. Got to have a steady hand when you do this. Right like that. Okay, and then I'm going to come around here, pick up this line here, and this is where I you want to use your reference sometimes. This is my reference here, my sketch. It's kind of important for me to see these lines right now. So this one goes like this. Pick up that one. There's one here, and then we have one here within the rows. All right, I'm going to twirl that around, get a little darker there color. Okay, then I have one here, and here. Now this is a pretty dominant one here because this is another petal here. See, I see that in my drawing. Now I've lost this one here, so I'm gonna put that in. Okay. Then this is another petal. Okay, so let's start over here. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna bring this so that I, this is like right at the edge here. Okay, now this petal here, you can see this, um, is my petal, but I have added this little bit of part here because I didn't totally go up to that um, petal when I um, did my wash. So this is the petal here, and then this was added. So I'm going to add this, see, and it's going to look like another petal there. In fact, I'm going to put the, this a little bit like that. That looks really nice. I like that. So you don't have to worry about your background so much. Don't get real stressed when you do your background and it's not coming up to your flower because you can correct things as you paint. That's the best part. Oh, and I got some water here. Excuse me. I want to get that out right away. We don't want any blooms. Okay, now how's it looking? I think it looks pretty good, don't you? Now let me see, I'm losing, I lost a little couple little petals here. So this goes up here. Now this one goes here. Okay, and then the other one, I'm really loving the colors so, so much. I love orange and I love reds together in the fall. Oh my goodness. Now, 
here's another one that I'm going to put in. This is another petal. Okay. Let me put a little deeper. There we go. Now, this is what I added also. It turned out pretty dark. So all I'm going to do is add some more dark here, paint here. So it looks like the petal. I like that. See? Okay. I can just put it right there. I'm going to also outline this a little bit here. Let me see here. It work best if I work down from top to bottom. Top to bottom. Okay. Right there. I'm going to just paint just a little bit there. And this is my leaf right here. I'm just going to bring this red all the way over here like this. Oh, I'm really loving this so much. Now, I was going to actually put some red in here too, because I see a, it's kind of dark here. So I'm going to add some dark, but I'm going to go in with a bigger brush right there. I'm going to go in with my number four. I like to use bigger brushes when I start blending. Okay, this is going to come down here a little bit. Okay, there, that's good. Now, did I pick up all the lines that I wanted to pick up? I could put a few more in the middle. Let me see. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this around here. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I want a few more in the middle. So let's pick this one up here. Just follow the curvature of your rose, of your flower. Okay? And then I have something here. I made that a little darker. That would be interesting, I think. And then this part here, the curvature of your rose. I like that already. This one, I want to make a little a little bit more bolder right there. Okay. Could put one right here. All right. Good. I like that. So now let's dry that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our number two brush, and this is the last step, how I do, my, how I paint my roses. Take some water, get my Kleenex, and I want to make sure that I put a really nice highlight on some of these petals that I see in my photo that I took. Okay, so we're kind of just on top of the rose part here, the rose petals. And just bring the, these highlights out a little bit more. As much as I can. And you see, it has the... Um, the color, it brings out the color underneath, and I really like that. That's how I did my mom's also. You put the lighter color underneath, and then the darker color on top, and then you lift. And there you have it. Let me dry it. Make sure it's all done the way I like it. Mm 
Okay. Very good. I am so happy with this. I am really happy with the color. I just love the color. Okay, so the one thing I wanted to show you was what I did. Here, do you want to see it closer? I hope you can see that well. And then I'll turn it around and lift it up again as I'm going to be talking about this background. Okay, so let me turn this here. Let me get this back a bit and turn it towards me. There I am. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today. This is so much fun and it's causing me to do my paintings because like I say, I was getting away from it and I just missed it so much. So I hope you're enjoying it too. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I did to this background here. Now remember last week, we I put a color on here and it was the blue, the blue colors. And, and don't worry about if your um, painting does this, you know, while you're painting, because you're already painting the background. You don't have to really have that. It'll come off and it, it'll flatten out. But anyway, so um, if you remember, and you could see the picture that I did last week, is that this background wasn't as dark as what I wanted it to be. And this part was dark, uh, and I love it. And what I did, a couple things I did. So, you know, when you take a picture in your camera and it's like, it's, it looks like a portrait picture, it's a portrait picture and you have a little of this, um, you know, like disappearing a little bit in the portraits. Well, th this is, this is what's happening here. This, what I did is I moved my paint around. So it kind of reminded me of a portrait in the background you know it's in the background which I really love and then what I did with this is I wasn't happy with this was almost all the same color and I don't like that in my backgrounds I like you know darker and lighter see the dark the light is it's from this way and so there's going to be a shadow here shadow this this side of the vase originally I wanted the the lightness to go here but it just didn't happen that way <laughs> I got a little mixed up, but anyway, um, it's fine because it depends on where, if, if, if you put your shadow where it's supposed to be, it, it's fine. The dark can be on the left, the dark can be on the right, but the, the light is shining here, so my shadow is going to be this way, and normally I have shadows this way, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, so what I wanted to tell you is that in this case, okay, the paint, the background was done. But I wanted to change it. I wanted to make this darker. So, in your mind, do you think that I should have painted, <clears throat> excuse me, just all paints? Or do you think I should have wet it first and then worked with it? Raise your hand if you know. <laughs> okay, so what you do is, <clears throat> oh my goodness, I took my allergy pill this morning. I don't know what's happening. It's not, it's not, it's only like 10 o'clock or something. So it's not. <clears throat> It's not, it's not working quite yet, but anyway, that's another thing. So, but anyway, so I wet it all first and then I worked with it and then I put more blue in it. Uh, I was able to work with it. And um, so, so I just want to show you some of my other uh, backgrounds that I have done and they're fall pictures and um but I wanted, I didn't want to make um, gourds this year for my fall pictures. A lot of times I, I do this type of thing in the, in the, in the um, autumn time. <clears throat> Excuse me, I call this gourds in autumn. This was a while ago I did this. Uh, now here's the background. What I did is I just came up to my sketch and I didn't go totally, you know, up here uh, to, to, the, to the subjects, which I liked a lot. I like that. Now, here's another um, painting I did with gourds, and this was just recently. These are, are gourds we got back from Colorado, uh, Colorado, and um, I like this too, and I like this background. Now, this is all pretty much one color. It's a little lighter on here, which I liked, but anyway, so do you like these too? I like them. I can't put these in the same time. Which one do you like better? Do you like gourds in autumn? <laughs> Or do you like Colorado gourds? It's 
just fun. It's just fun to learn, and uh, I'm just so glad that I'm back to painting because I have so many other things going on. But I, I, I'm usually used to paint like four hours a day, five days a week. But now I'm painting a couple hours here and there. But it's better that I do that than not, not at all because you, you can't learn. You know, you're always learning when you're painting, right? And it's just so important. Um, so I hope you'll stick with me each week and uh, we'll talk about our roses and mum picture that I'm working on. And I'm gonna be painting more on my own. Uh, I'll probably finish up the roses. Hopefully I'll finish up the leaves. And uh, there's a lot to talk about in painting. It's just a wonderful thing. I just love it. And I hope you're, you're enjoying this. Let me know if you are, okay? All right, thank you and have a great day. Hope you're all doing well. Happy fall.